Good morning, it's Tuesday, January the 6th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced, edgy show, bringing you the best press releases at the open, along with the hauls so that you can only profit from them, and potentially find your next great small cap investment. I've got another great show lined up for you this morning. I've got three great press releases, one from the U.S. side, two from the Canadian side. No halts to report on at this time. However, before the show is out, that can change. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Let's start with the U.S. side, China Energy Recovery. They trade on the OTCBB under the symbol CGYV. The company is announcing today that it successfully completed an EPC, which is an engineering procurement and construction project for a new specialty sulfuric acid plant. Now, associated with this project, there's revenues of approximately $3.3 million million dollars so it's a big score for the company and this is also the second EPC project that was awarded by the same customer and an add-on to Jihuahua's main sulfuric acid plant which has 40 or 400,000 tons of annual production capacity and features an integrated waste heat recovery system now a little bit about China energy recovery uh, they're a designer manufacturer and install waste heat energy recovery systems which provide facilities with greater energy efficiency the company's primary focus is the Chinese market, and as you all know, we think China's the place to be. Jim Rogers is very bullish on it. We're very bullish on it. We think this is where you should be looking at to invest your dollars. CER's technology captures industrial waste energy to produce low-cost electrical power, enabling industrial manufacturers to reduce their energy costs shrink their energy emission footprints and generate sensible emission credits. Companies last at $1.79, high of $12.90, low of $0.54, cents, and the market cap of approximately $5.5 million. Now, moving over to the Canadian side, we've got Capital Gold. They trade on the TSX under the symbol CGC. They also trade on the over-the-counter bulletin board under the symbol CGLD. The company is announcing record production totals for December 2008. Now, what does that include? They've announced that it's produced 5,375 ounces of gold in December at its El Chenate, Maine, which is located in Sonora, Mexico. Now, this represents the company's best monthly production to date and surpasses the previous best monthly total of 4,750 ounces by 13%. Now, a little bit about Capital Gold. Their gold production exploration company, through its Mexican subsidiaries and affiliates, owns 100% of the El Chanate Gold property, which again is located in Sonora, Mexico. And to date, the company has produced 40,000 ounces of gold in its first year of operation. Companies last at 46 cents, high of 83 cents, low of 31 cents, mark cap that stands at approximately $90 million. And finally, I've got Allied Nevada Gold Corp. Trades on the TSX under the symbol ANV and also on the New York Stock Exchange on the Alternext uh, under the symbol ANV. The company is announcing its first production from its runoff mine, Heap Leach Property, which is the Highcroft Mine. Highlights from the press release, total production for December 08 was approximately 1,000 ounces of gold and 3,000 ounces of silver which was a combination of door and carbon. Uh, now, a little bit about the company. They're engaged in the evaluation, acquisition, exploration, and advancement of gold exploration and development projects in Nevada. Companies last at $5.52, high of $6.90, low of $2.06, and the market cap of approximately $315 million dollars as i stated at the beginning of the program i've got no halts to report on so that's a wrap for this morning show thanks for tuning in please tune in again tomorrow and we've got more great press releases and halts at the open for you